Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we're bringing you another CK3 playthrough video where we try to have 50 kids, yes, whole 50 kids as a Catholic Duke within the HRE. And as you can tell by the title of the video, things start to go a little bit sideways. Now this is the first part in two videos, guys, so please hit that subscribe button if you want to see the second video where we do live to well over a hundred years old. Yes, a hundred years old, guys. And check out my last video where we tried to seduce as many people as possible as the lowest attraction opinion possible. That was pure chaos. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, you already know what we're doing here, and we are going to be playing as Bohemia in the 1066 start again, because why not make it even more of a challenge by being Catholic, hey? Why not make life even more hellish. If we do pull it off though, I hope we go down in the history books as Chadus Maximus. Please put that as my name because that is going to be how I feel if I complete this challenge, guys. <laughs> so, let's create the character. So, we need to make the most Sigma of Sigma males, guys. So, of course, I'm just going to base it on myself. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. So, the Cookmaster 5000 dynasty has already been done, guys. So, uh, yeah, probably. That sounds about right. And for the motto, I'm thinking simple this time. Uh, yeah. Just that, just that. That sounds about right. And for the uh, emblem, I think we just go with a picture of Chad. Look at this guy. What a Chad with his club. What a beast. So name, of course. We're going to go with Chad Sigma. All Chads have double barrel names, guys. Of course, we all know that already. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm tempted not to change this guy. He already looks a bit dreamy. Look into those eyes, guys. They are beautiful. Look at his face. He's a lovely looking man. So in terms of our main traits, guys, of course he's going to be an elusive shadow. He's lustful for that fertility and seduced scheme power. He is temperate for that health boost. We want him to live as long as possible if we're going to do this, guys. Trust me. Um, impatient for the expedite schemes decision. Deceitful for that extra intrigue and study art of scheming. Brave because of that attraction opinion, of course. And Gregarious for that personal scheme power plus 15. He is a beast in a lot of departments already. So for his other traits, guys, we might have gone a little bit mental. <laughs> so he is strong, of course, for that health boost. He is fecund for that fertility and life expectancy. Pure-blooded for the health boost and fertility. Herculean for the health boost. <laughs> Genius for that monthly lifestyle experience, of course. He is beautiful, of course, he has to be. Fertility, 30% and attraction opinion for 30. He's athletic for that health boost. <laughs> He's rakish, of course. Nice bit of intrigue. Um, he is a herbalist for the disease resistance. We don't want him to die of disease. Renowned physician for that as well. He's a scholar for the scheme success chance. <laughs> he is whole of body for the fertility and health boost. He's a schemer for the hostile scheme power. He is gallant, of course, for that attraction opinion. He's a legendary uh, reveler for that diplomacy and opinion of revelers. He is a family hierarch for the fertility. <laughs> oh my god, and he's a diplomat for the personal scheme power and he did all of this by the time he was 16 guys 16 16 <laughs> we'll get a bit of cheat definition in there as well guys get those cheekbones glowing honestly guys there's not much else i want to do here without messing around too much because he already looks like a dreamboat so let's finish this off and let's show you what we have here. We might have gone over the achievement limit a little bit, but it doesn't matter because achievement limits are for pussios, boys. We are making our own way in the world. We are not following the achievements. Duke Chad Sigma Sigma of the Duchy of Bohemia with the Chad Sigma dynasty with the Chad as the logo. <laughs> Look at that. He is, of course, Catholic and he is a Czech West Slavic. Look at these stats though as well. He has Diplomacy 19 and Intrigue of 35. Very nice. Should be getting plenty, 
plenty of offers for seduction. So let's get into the game, guys. Guys, I just noticed, like, he looks perpetually like he's posing. I'm not gonna lie. Look at him. Look at me, boys. Yes, look how beautiful I am. So we can already strengthen the bloodline, guys, already because of the amount of traits we have. Oh, and this gives us more health and more chance of, of new good congenital traits. So let's go. Yes, we have a bright... Uh, future head nicknamed the blood father. I'm not sure that's gonna remain for the rest of the game So first things first of course we are going to take the temptation Focus and we're gonna be working down to the seducer perk I wanted to take it in game rather than give it to him early something to work for straight away Which is great and we want to get enticing opportunity as soon as possible so time to find a wife Oh my god, and it is very different to the last time we did this. I honestly really do don't care about um, about their attraction opinion to me or what alliances they're gonna get. I care how fertile they are. So find me someone lustful. Ah, so we found a girl the same age as us who's lustful, brave, and content, which is awesome. So let's uh, let's uh, marry her, and hopefully we can get some children straight away. So with our first potential lover, guys, we already have the schema trait, so we can get budding interest straight away. But we're already on 95%, so it doesn't even really matter. So here we is, a reading in Prague. What do I want to read to her? I think she wants something to learn. She's humble, vengeful, and diligent. So diligent, hopefully, should help us with that. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, she doesn't like it. She's still 95% though. It doesn't even matter. Ah, oh, here we go, guys. Our first child. Our wife is pregnant. Number one. So here we are. We can make Marquetta our lover. So let's do that straight away. And let's find another person to seduce already, guys. So let's start small for our guys with the people within our own lands rather than going straight for the emperor's wife because... That might land us deaded, so let's go for them first. 80% though, only 80% because she dislikes deceitful and she dislikes impatient. Oh well, well let's keep going. Ah, wonderful, we have our first child. Sicily, Sicily, Sigma, yes, fantastic. And look how many traits she got, guys. Genius, pretty. Pure-blooded, fecund, and robust. What an animal of a character. Ah, so our darn vassals are already trying to declare war on us. I don't have time for this, guys. I need to be out fighting for my females, not fighting you guys, okay? You can run, but you can't hide, boy. We will find you, and we will kill you. Come on. Here we are. Yes. Smash him to pieces. Yes! Fantastic! Ah, so a bloom in the wilderness. A captivating barmaid. You know her, that would be perfect. I want to do this myself. 98% chance I wrap with Chaser around my little finger. Let's do that. Our conversation flows smoothly. I did not expect to have so much in common with a barmaid. As I get up to leave, Richeza puts her hand on my arm and asks if I want a room for the night. A room for two, judging by the look in her eyes. Yes! Another lover already, guys, but it all comes to naught if this war goes badly. So we've just taken enticing opportunity, 30% to do scheme power, let's go. So it's come down to this, a siege race, guys, and they are already winning by quite a considerable margin. But he has a lot less land than I do, so by taking these two, we might even be able to force a white piece. He is going for liberty as well, what a bitch. You're a fake and a fraud. My wife is once again pregnant, guys, just as I am about to petition the liege. Uh, break up a powerful faction in my land, please. Please, my friend. So, here we are. He wants something from me. I, I'm assuming he wants a weak hook, which is fine. He just wins this war for us as well. Oh, God. What a legend. Thank you, Kaiser. You will probably won't be saying that very soon, though, when I sleep with your wife. Nice. Yoink, 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 yoink. And the final yoink. Ah, Duke Otto. Looks like you 
have a deceitful, vengeful, and trusting wife over there. So, 95% chance, brilliant. Ah, uh, what do we give her then? I think we give her a stuff box. <laughs> Yes! She loves- uh, The stuffed fox has not failed me once! Come on! So, uh, the Kaiser has used his weak hook to uh, gain forced partition upon us. What a fool! Does he not know that we will have a million children? Ah, oh, yes! To the brave Duke Chad Sigma. The look in your eyes is like a null root. I really want to have you close, that I may know true joy. I am twice as pretty as your chattering wife. <laughs> the look in your eyes is like a gnarled root. What the fuck are you talking about? Ah, my second child, guys. My second child. And he is a genius. Someone's found out about one of our things and wants to blackmail us. But uh, it gives him stress. <laughs> Gross. Closer to forming a rivalry. I really don't care. I'll accept. Ah, so here we are. We have a bastard with our lover. Robert, he is called. He's a genius, beautiful, and fecund. And do we... Uh, uh, so the world will know of my child, of course. And once again, we are exposing all our own secrets, even though we are a genius when it comes to intrigue. So here we go, another lover, hopefully, guys. My vile paramour. <laughs> so we're already 20, and we have three children. We, we have four lovers, so hopefully... Ah, no, a fourth child. Fantastic. And once again, the world's going to know about this. Ah, oh, so Richeza is with child once again. But could this be a result of our carnal relations? I think this will... Probably, yes, it must be. <laughs> of course it is yours, Chad Sigma. <laughs> oh, yes. This is joyous news and must be shared. <laughs> yes. Mm. So as I said in the last video, having sinner, it really doesn't matter taking these decisions to expose my children. My wife doesn't even hate us that much. Look, adultery only minus five, unfaithful, minus 177 already, and she still has plus 25, 29. Oh my god. Ah, so Duchess Adela, the vile witch that we called her before, has given us another child. And uh, let's, uh, the world's gonna know of our child. The fifth child we've had already. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, they're coming thick and fast at the minute, guys. Another daughter we have as well. So that is the sixth child. Oh, so here we are. Out of wedlock, Reches has given birth. Uh, to our son. We won't legitimize this one though, I don't think, but everyone does know, so it should show up as our son, hopefully. <laughs> oh, shall we just expose one of our other children as ours? Yep, yeah, I think so. That is our sixth child exposed. Now everyone knows. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, so our wife, even though she absolutely hates us now because we have minus 283 unfaithful opinion, minus 283. <laughs> Lord Chad Sigma, my enchanting lion heart, my wife is kneeling in the dust before me, right hand above her heart. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love, love for you? Give me a pet da dog or cat, a jeweled necklace, a rare orchid, enough this, yeah, she can romance us. Give us a pet cat and dog, of course, that's fine. I thought long and hard, my treasure, just Duchess Gordana says as she gently places the basket onto my desk. What would the perfect companion for such a clever and independent creature as yourself? That's interesting, calling me a creature. And then it hit me. Nothing would fit you better than a cat. Oh, yes. Revealing a little kitten. Ah, oh, yes. Get me, the, get, get me the cat. And let's call it Shadow. What a great name. <laughs> so, our child is asking questions that seem very... Appropriate for us. <laughs> ah, so the Duchess has had another child, and it will be known to have been mine. <laughs> I am cooking this guy so much. He doesn't even hate us that much, though. Slept with my spouse minus fifty-seven. He's still minus only seven, minus seventy-six. There's people who hate me more than that, including my wife. Ah, here we go, guys. Another one. I think this is number seven. Ah, <laughs> uh, the world will know. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I can make my wife my soulmate. I I mean, she hates me. So I'll try it, but she still hates me. Oh, another one. That's number eight. Number nine. So another person to seduce. Yes, let's attempt to go for it. Oh, yes, again. How many do we have now? Oh, yes. We've got six lovers on the on the go at the minute. Jesus. Oh, another one. Number 10. 11. <laughs> this is obscene. This is obscene. Uh, number 12. She has had a lot of kids and a lot of them are mine. <laughs> and he now hates us. She loves us, though. She absolutely loves us. So all of her children that are mine, that are disputed heritage, as you can see, the ones with all the traits, <laughs> are like not on my list. They still count him as the parent, but he knows. <laughs> Look at this guy. He knows. He's got that knowing glance right there. He knows. Ah, uh, so we've got too many lovers, but romance is not about quantity, but quality. I mean, you're saying that, bro, but... Uh, we got six lovers, so... Nope. <laughs> ah, so my wife is pregnant again. But remember the good times. She doesn't want to be my lover anymore. You, you tried to deduce me. You tried to romance me. <laughs> but of course. But, I mean, I am a bit of a scumbag, so I can understand why you hate me. <laughs> so here we go. Will this be our seventh lover, guys? Oh, no. She doesn't like us. That's the first one, and it's still a 95% chance. But look, secrecy 100%, which is pretty good. But that's our first one that's rejected us. I mean, it was going to happen at some point, wasn't it? So how about this nun? <laughs> She's a princess, but she... Is she a nun? Like, she looks to me like a nun. <laughs> okay, I mean, it looks like it's going to work still. 65% chance. Oh, is that number 13? I think number 13, let's go. So now we've taken mortal adoration, guys. We have our harem of lovers who will stop any murder plots against us. That should be unbelievable. They all love this guy. Chad, I mean, he is Chad Sigma and he is an absolute beast. Look at these stats as well. We are getting very nice stats at the minute. He is an absolute beast of a character and a beast in the bedroom, apparently. Ah, number 14, guys. My daughter. A natural-born daughter as well. And she has got a lot of traits. Very nice, once again. Zadislava. Oh, my God. We are getting rejected constantly. I don't know why this is. Is this because everyone knows we're just a crazy, <laughs> crazed bastard? I don't know. Another daughter. 15. Someone wants to murder my wife. And I'm assuming that that is... You know, one of my lovers. Uh, and for our dynasty legacies, shall we go for more fertility? I think so. Oh, at the feast, a loud crash resounds through the great hall as one of the doors to the service quarters break. In a barely clothed tumble, my vassal and my vassal spill out on the floor in front of Edge. <laughs> Just imagine what they could have been up to. I lose stress for this. So now it's time to look further I feel, I think. We need to stop trying to seduce people in our realm before everyone tries to kill us. But some of these people really don't want to be seduced. 95% uh, for the Queen of Hungary, though. I think that's probably the best option. Oh, no. Our wife has died. She's been murdered. Most definitely. Um, Duchess Adela, she wanted us completely to ourselves, even though she has a husband. Uh, so she's murdered our wife. She'll probably murder our next wife as well. But let's, uh, let's try and find that right now. So a 23-year-old lustful woman. I think that's probably right. She is a male as well, which is cool. And that outfit, though, what the hell is going on there? That is that is interesting, but oh well. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, that outfit's slightly better now. <laughs> oh my god. Count Hasek. He's lost my cat or killed him, and he looks pretty nervous. Look at him. Where is my cat? We've gained a little bit of stress. We are getting a little bit of stress for once, guys. What about the queen? Of Hungary added to the list as well. 
Yes, we should do this again. Another lover, fantastic. Oh my god, so my wife has killed Marquetta, one of my lovers. Oh my god. Well, I'll get that opinion with you, Marquetta, because you're gonna hate me in a little while. Oh no, it was my wife that was killed by Marquetta. Oh no. You're so dumb. Okay, Queen Jutta has now had a child, so that is number 16, guys. Oh, 16. The world will know of it, of course. I don't care that people outside of my realm hate me. It doesn't really matter. I am still the blood father. The blood daddy. Oh my god, that's horrible. Don't say that. I've just noticed, guys, Ruthenia is getting pretty thick. But you know what else is thick? Queen Uliana. Oh, and here we are, guys. Finally, Seducer. Even more fertility. That is obscene. Ah, uh, so the Queen of Ruthenia. Thick Ruthenia. Yes! Again, another one. Oh, yes. Look at this. Seven. And they all love us. I don't think I've ever had seven before. <clears throat> Number 17, guys. 17. Oh, we're getting up there, but it's still a long, long way to go. But I think we're only about 32. So we do have plenty of time left. So, number 17. The world will know my child. So our first child has actually come of age. And she has pretty boss stats, honestly. Even though she's only an insightful thinker. But look at those traits, guys. Let's find her a husband. Um, Queen's, King Sven of Denmark. Uh, yes, please. Give us that alliance, boy. <laughs> yes. Oh, my lover Richesa lives so far away from my embrace. If she had something to remember me by, something personal, I would rest easier. <gasps> she gets a forelock artifact. She gets small clothes. Small clothes, small clothes. And here it is, guy. Chad Sigma's braise. Duke Chad Sigma's most intimate articles sent to his distant lover to keep alive the fire of their exploits in the bedchamber. It's rubbish as well. Minus 2% stress gain. That is awful. Why is it not minus 100? And now for the Bissalisa of the Byzantine Empire. Please let it be. Yes, of course. Or rather the meaning behind her words. That poem was terrible. Right, the love letter. Your proud stride is like a burning stick. I really want to smooch you. That I may know if you're as thin as you look from afar. Please be the Helen to my Paris. <laughs> oh, that is... That, that poem was terrible. What the fuck, bro? Ah, the Emperor has taken away our appointment. Probably because of all the... Uh, Rakish behavior we're going for rather than actually <laughs> trying to run the realm. Uh, you wanted to rebel against me, didn't you? <laughs> yes! 15 dread. And of course, it, it had to be dead. These rats might seem shy, I say, as I strap the bucket to Yaramir's exposed chest. But once it gets warm in there, they will do anything to escape. Luckily for them, their teeth are very sharp. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine this Chad man doing that to you. That would be horrible. Those yellow eyes are the only thing that betrays that he is a mean, mean man. And my other bastard has come of age. He is gluttonous, shy, but brave. As well as being a rough terrain expert and a skilled tactician, he's a bit better at martial. Well done, boy. Let's get you another wife as well. And uh, really, the only reason why we're getting the wives here here. Yes. And that is our eighth lover, I believe. Or ninth, is it? I, I can't quite remember. A ninth. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Nine lovers, guys. But we haven't had kids for ages. So let's seduce our other son's wife. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this at all, guys. Nothing wrong with this at all. Ah, so my son and heir has revealed my secret. <laughs> And he still likes us slightly. Um, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. But he has imprisoned my lover. Please let me ransom her out. Let me get her out. Please. Who are they to judge, of course? I am a bad man. Okay, guys. If you haven't got this already, I am a bad man. <laughs> Guilty. Ah, oh, and finally, number 18, guys. Number 18. Jesus. Uh, number 19, guys. We're nearly a fifth of the, of the way there if we're going for 100. But I, I honestly don't think that's possible now. We are probably half the way through our life. 
and we only made 18. If we can make it to 50, though, that will be unbelievable if we can get to 50. Ah, the Kaiser has given us Spy Master. You really, you really want to do that, my friend? Okay. <laughs> ah, number 20, guys, and it is a legitimate child. What does she have? She has no traits. Really? This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. Oh, number 21, guys. 21. Uh oh, and I have find I found out my wife has not been faithful to me. Uh, but really, <laughs> I, I don't care. These are all my lovers, and I've had so many more. And these are all my children. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't have a go at you for this at all. I'm sorry. And it's about that time again when we seduce our son's wife. Oh, God. Ah, my daughter-in-law, Grima, is sure to follow. She is rakish and an adulterer as well. Oh, yes. She has. She has seduced me. I was the one being seduced this time. So this is not my fault, guys. Okay, this is not my fault. And we're back to having eight lovers. Oh, God. Uh, we've been found out again. Um, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Number 22. Jesus Christ. We have been busy, haven't we? Oh, number 23. And of course, the world will know of my child. <laughs> Jesus. Halfway nearly to 50, which uh, we might get there. We might get there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, something on this map, guys, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> Can you tell what it is? What the hell? Hunt! Hunt! <laughs> Hunt! What the hell? The Kingdom of Hunt! I don't think I've ever seen that. That counts as the Kingdom of Hungary, but it must be his language. And that bright green is horrifying to look at. <laughs> that does not fit at all. It looks horrible. So, we have another female in our harem. Kiss me again, my abhorrent witch. What a horrible thing to say to her. And now we have nine lovers once again. Five, six, seven. No, we have ten. <laughs> ten lovers. <laughs> this is obscene. This is obscene. Oh my god, I have found the scariest woman. Look how scary she looks. Even her husband looks slightly timid and scared in front of her. 20%, which is not a great chance. <laughs> but this woman, she is going to be dreadful. She will probably murder all my other lovers. And that just adds to the fun, doesn't it? So let's try. <laughs> oh, so my rival of Pomerania probably is stressed out because she used to be my lover. <laughs> His dead wife used to be my lover who... He executed? Oh, damn. He's still bitter about it. You executed her, bro. You executed her. But my prowess is so much better than you, so I will accept this. Single combat. I am just going to, you know, start chatting shit about his dead wife to him, probably. Oh, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. Ah, so we're just getting huge bonuses. This will work like it just does in the legends. Yep. I'll show you how I heft my sword. An opening. Yes, an opening. Very nice. And of course, I am victorious. You stupid fool. You stupid fool. I won. So we only have a 20% chance of seducing the scary woman. So let's try. Let's try. Uh, yeah, probably time to leave. Oh, God. Um, guys... I just found out that this is my daughter. That is horrible. Horrible. This is not an incest challenge, okay? <laughs> I'm going to break it off with my daughter. Am I? Yeah. Well, Adela's 40, so... Maybe not. <laughs> I think this is number 25, guys. I'm pretty sure it's 25, so we're halfway there now. And of course, the world will know of my child. Oh, God. Number 26, guys. Oh, God. It's been tough. Really haven't had that many children recently. Um, it's getting tough. We are getting up there 50 years old as well. We need to start having some more kids soon. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's really tough right now. And I don't know why, because we have eight lovers still. Eight, guys. Eight, and they all love us. 
Uh, yeah, so <laughs> we might have just been installed as the Emperor. <laughs> Uh, well, guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. If you really want it to go again, if we can get up to 20 likes, then I will continue this Let's Play as the Seducing Emperor, <laughs> which is crazy. The Seducing Chad Sigma Sigma, the blood father of the Holy Roman Empire, with his eight lovers. <laughs> It's just ridiculous, isn't it? But yeah, guys, please, if you want to see this carry on, which I really do, I want to see whether we can get up to 50. We've only got 26 so far, but our health is still excellent at 50 years of age. So that is a really good sign. So please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video.